Hello, it's Paul Manis here and back on how to run rack on straight pool. And this time we're gonna cover this kind of break shot. No, we're gonna cover when you get straight into the break shot. You overrun the position and you are straight in to the pocket. You got nice break ball, but you miss the position to the break ball or maybe the key ball and then try the difficult way and you get straight in to that 14. So what could be done? I show you after I show this safety first, which is pretty easy, but must know every straight ball player, any level, because this is easy to do. Just stop it there, and then we gonna play safety to the rack. Just stop it there, and now we shoot the second last ball, which is the six, green six now, and we're gonna try this orange five to the rail and slowly, so it doesn't come back a lot. It's gonna also should make if the rack is decent. Now the two ball not frozen, but I hope it goes. The rack is bad, but uh, let's see how it goes. The main purpose is shooting the five to the rail and a little bit back. And we're shooting the six full in face or just here to the left. So the cue ball will end up middle of the rack frozen or close to frozen. And I didn't do the best work. I, the five ball came out quite a lot, but the cool thing we got the two ball close to that pocket. And why we want to get the five ball close to the rail and the two balls there is because we want to take out the counter safety. Because now the opponent can't really just brush there and leave it there hitting the rail because you get the five ball. But let's say the five ball came out here. He could do this and get pretty good safety from there. And then you would end up playing safety battle or take really bank to the two or crazy cut to the five but when the five is there and it's not really option to play he could maybe tin the shot and try to leave that end rail but then this two ball covers that and you could get pretty hard two ball but still really makeable and and the opponent not necessarily get the cue ball frozen to the rail maybe get here and then you will have a really easy two ball a lot of pressure to get the cue ball to the end rail and even if he does that you will probably get a decent shot from there okay that's the safety option there now we're gonna cover the break shot Let's try to make a little bit better rack what we had last time. Okay, looking, okay. And this doesn't really matter where the where this ball is. It could be here or here or here, anywhere here, and you get straight in. Let's put it there. It's a little bit different from different position, but not much. It's basically the same shot every time. Maybe slight changes to the spin high we're gonna shoot this high left maybe if we here we use more high less left and we may, maybe it's if it's here then we use more left and less high okay let's shoot it somewhere here uh, like, let's go there here mm. and now the important thing is you want to be straight into the straight to the pocket or a little bit this side now i make it straight in somewhere there it's making this easier than the middle of the pocket because then you can cheat a little bit more to the left and that's what we're gonna do and we're using high left the high left will make this cut play thicker it creates friction there and you can cut it a little bit more so the cue ball have more angle and when you're shooting it hard it's gonna deflect more here and get in two rails to the stack also the high left gives more speed to the cue ball so it has more speed coming two rails here somewhere here and then coming out the rack it wants to come here you could get like unlucky and get if you're hitting these first balls you will get back behind the rack 
but even then you could play safety after that. So what, let's see what we're gonna get this time. But you really need to high left. Only high and shoot in the pocket doesn't give you the speed to make decent break. I yeah, hit the 8 ball, that doesn't be so good, so I probably have more difficult shot. If I hit the, these last balls, I probably have straight in shot to the st or a slight cut to the side, but I still got decent 2 ball, and I got a couple of balls, 4 balls out from the rack, and the 4 ball, pretty good ball to get to the stack, secondary break shot. So now I think how I can get to the 4 ball, what's the... I need to get middle of the table or this side. And the two ball have enough cut for that, I think. But I need to shoot it pretty fast. I could shoot it pocket speed, get here, play the one ball and position. I, I want to shoot this. I'm not shooting the balls too good today. So I'm shooting this slower and trying to get position from the one ball to the four ball. Oh, I actually <laughs> did hit it so thin, and so I did, did get a slight angle to the four, but I think it's so thick. The cue ball doesn't get a lot of energy. To, there is still high mass, ten balls or nine balls here, so a lot of mass here. If I get the cue ball with slow speed there, it's going to stuck there easily. So I'm going to try to get it one ball two rail position around here to get more angle so the cue ball have more speed to really break the rack second time oh yeah as i said i don't shoot balls today too good i, I even more straighter this time how about the 13? Not really on. So what we can do? Okay, we, we're gonna have... I think we're gonna have the play. Now we don't want to come here. The tangent line is actually... <coughs> tangent line is to the 11. But if I shoot the 11 slow speed, it's gonna hit the 11 here and stuck there or going a little bit forward, push the 5 there and probably not having any. So I'm gonna follow it, trying to hit the 5 ball, but I can't full follow it or I miss. So I'm shooting just a little bit above center, fast speed, and I hope I get the 5 or 8 after this to that end rail. Yeah, I needed to get lucky there. I was really bad. That was really break shot, but uh, I managed to do the right right shot. Actually, that might come up later too on these videos. And okay, I need to get the five ball over the balls. So this is not looking good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and. Now we finally got decent position, try to try to run out the rack. So it's not going to be easy if you make this kind of run saving break shots. You don't get the full explosion, you're going to get tricky position. But if you are on the long run, you don't want to end your run, then you might take your chances and continue to run. All right. Here I see the eight ball is really good if I can get here. To break the rest of the rack. I don't have insurance ball, but I don't see anything else where I can have insurance ball. So I try to make the nine ball. If I could get here, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get to the eight still, but I try to do it. I need to get right cut to the ten, and I need really good. Still really good shot to the side because the cue ball wants to go there. So I need a lot of left English here. 
to get the cut to the eight. Oh, I could just go to the rack right now. Actually, I didn't think even about that. That was stupid. I think I gonna just gonna. I shoot this fast and lot of draw. I gonna go. I gonna hit that uh, three ball. If I shoot it a little bit slower, I would hit it more. Okay, I don't shoot it super fast. I shoot really slow, uh, really low, but not super fast. So I want to hit the three quite full and then pull back, hitting that 12. So it should break and come to this rail and a little bit out. But if I hit it, if I hit really thin side, then it's gonna hit here and I don't know what's gonna happen properly. But I feel I got good chances anyway to get the shot. Like this. All right. <clears throat> now I'm thinking I'm just cutting and shooting it really, really slow. The 10 ball just drops to the table. I shoot outside English, getting two rails, either 8 or 15. A uh, lot of problem solving of this rack. And now, if I shoot the 8, which is easier, I'm gonna hit the 15, 3. I'm not sure what happens. I'm gonna shoot the 15 slow. It's gonna come here, hit the 3, 7, and try to come into that pocket, but, that's, but I want to shoot it really slow, so I would have 8 after this. And also to make the pocket play big, I almost missed that. And I didn't get the 8 good because I shoot it so Team, the keyboard went much, but I got a nice shot to the seven and I got a nice break shot. So now the three ball is really good break. Uh, key ball, if you can get straight into that or close to straight in. So now we're making the seven to the side. And I think I'm just gonna stop there a little bit backwards and try to get to the eight. Now I try to get to the two rail position, the 11, so I could come this way to the break, key ball. I overran that position, of course, but it really didn't matter what kind of angle I have. If I'm good on the 11, I can play it many ways. It's a little bit more precise if I'm here in the right cut, that's for sure. But, but for now, it really doesn't happen. I'm playing so bad, but that's... <laughs> yeah, we can't shot, shot good today. Now I need to get even here to shoot the corner. And I think it's better to get to the corner because then you... It's harder to make the shot, but if I overrun now the position this side, I'm gonna get really tricky. If I if I get the cue ball on this side, that's always all right. I can go two rails or three rails towards the 12. Mm. Okay, I, I, I think I'm trying to get here, trying to get short to the side or straight in. To make sure I'm, I'm making this, <laughs> but I got really terrible angle again. I see this. This is not gonna. This is gonna go too too long to get good angle to there. If I play three rails, I need more or less angle. I get just between <laughs> to get nicely at under 12. So instead, I'm gonna draw it close to this corner and here and come in this direction. Like I'm trying to keep myself like coming two rails this direction, so I'm got the angle here to here. 
that's why I try to do this because I'm playing bad I try to use everything I have yeah I I really wanted to make easy rack this time but that's not gonna happen <laughs> I think this was four try and every other try I get like better break but uh, I missed the shot after the break even it was easy so this time we struggled and we're gonna take this call this for today <laughs> and next time we're gonna have uh, another tricky break shot to start and we're gonna probably have difficult track on that tattoo uh, but as you saw, you don't always play good, but if you play smart, you don't have to play so good. If you don't play smart, you have to shoot really straight, really good. That's the, that's the main thing on straight pool, play smarter. And then you have more leeway to play as bad position as me. And Happy New Year. See you in next episode.